If baking is any labor at all, it's a labor of love. A love that gets passed from generation to generation. This is my grandmother's Hoosier cabinet. In the late 1800s, it was very common for women to have these type of cabinets in their kitchen. And it housed all of their sugar and flour. They might have a big mixing bowl, their big spoon that they beat up the biscuits with. We knew we wanted a bake center in our kitchen. And in this area, we used to have a built-in desk, which really just was like a dumping zone. So we took it out and essentially created a modern day Hoosier cabinet. On the counter, I keep gallon containers of frequently used items like bread flour, flour, sugar, brown sugar, powdered sugar, oats, and masa. And every time I bake, I always think of my grandma. In the cabinets above, I have baking items. In the cabinet, I use these acrylic containers to house things like cupcake liners, candles. At Christmas time, when you have to run into um, the Dollar Tree and get a gift bag or something like that, I usually pick up um, the candles for everyone in our family for the upcoming year because I always forget to buy the candles for people's birthdays. So that's what I've been doing the last few years and it's worked for me. Extracts. I make my own vanilla extract and uh, put it in these small jars. I have chocolate bars, milk chocolate, and baker's chocolate. These containers are a lot of fun if you bake with little kids. I just store all um, different kinds of sprinkles. I buy them when they go on sale after a holiday. But it comes with a cute little scoop and kids love this. I made uh, Kimmy's from She's in Her Apron, her grandmother's Italian cookie recipe for Christmas this year and used a lot of these sprinkles and it was such a great recipe. Behind the sprinkles I store semi-sweet chips, white chips, peanut butter chips, and dark cocoa chips. In the top shelf I have a variety of baking goods. Craisins, mini marshmallows, dates, sunflower seeds, almond slices, vanilla sugar, toffee bits, coconut flakes. I also store raisins, the larger marshmallows, figs, walnuts, pecans, or pecans, macadamia nuts, butterfinger bits, and peanuts. And I just store um, enough nuts in my baking center to make it um, convenient. The bulk of my nut storage is kept in the freezer. On the top, I have whole wheat flour, rye flour, cornmeal, cake flour. I buy vanilla beans in bulk and keep them in a um, vacuum packed uh, bag. Semolina flour, white melting chocolate, and regular melting chocolate. I think it's somewhat ironic that um, about a year ago, Heather um, mentioned or shared on her channel her measuring uh, spoons and her measuring cups. And I had admired them for a long time. And when she mentioned where she got them, Ken came home that night and I said, we are going to Pier 1 Imports. You can count it as a date night if you want to, but I got to get me some of these chicken measuring spoons and measuring cups. And the best part was they were on clearance. In the cabinet to the right, I keep more staples like cream of tartar, baking powder, baking soda, salt, gelatin, egg white powder, cornstarch, and cocoa. I also keep Oreos, Nutter Butters, graham crackers, and vanilla wafers for making crusts and also using them in different dessert recipes. I also store a variety of oils and sprays and also um, different kinds of sugars like molasses, honey, maple syrup, 
um, corn syrup. I don't use it too much, but every once in a while I need a tablespoon or so in a recipe. So I do um, have it in my pantry. In the top shelf on the cabinet on the right, I keep a variety of common um, baking spices and then items that I would frequently use in baking. You may have uh, seen this drawer when we were working on our acrylic drawer dividers. And if you're interested in this product, um, I'll put a card and a link below in the description box. But in here I have extra measuring spoons, measuring cups. I have my butane torch for um, things like creme brulee. I have a few paring knives, can opener, bottle opener, couple pairs of kitchen scissors, wooden spoon uh, that's flat at the end. It's one of my favorites for making like candy. And then just a whisk. In this drawer to the right, I store my pastry brush, my pastry knife, my biscuit cutter. I have a few different sizes of ice cream scoops and I use those to portion out things like cookies. I have my candy thermometer, my zesters and microplane, I have some butter cloth, kitchen twine, and then juicers and reamers. In the next drawer, I keep my mixing bowls, uh, my creme brulee dishes, my measuring glasses, and I have two uh, extra large flour cloths that I use when I bake to dampen them and put over the dough. And then this is my, um, I guess my heart <laughs> of this bake center because these rolling pins, one of them was my maternal grandmother's, one was a paternal grandmother, and then one was my mom's. And they're different shaped baking pins, so they um, have different functions, but they're very dear to me. Then I have, obviously, just a ton of spatulas. I don't think you can ever have enough spatulas. I have my pastry uh, knife, bench knife. You've probably seen this in videos. Nutmeg grater, flour sifter, and then 10 ounce um, souffle dishes. Those are very versatile. You can do all kinds of desserts in those. Love them. In this cabinet here, I have my mixer. And I had this um, set up in my old kitchen. It's on a, just like a hinge and it, um, you just kind of click it in, into place and then your mixer is plugged in and it's, it's readily accessible. And this is a real convenient, um, item to have. This is my mom's, um, hand-me-down mixer. She gave me, I don't even know, like <sighs> many decades ago and it's still kicking. Uh, the one that you've probably seen in my um, uh, kitchen in California was a newer mixer and we've since repurposed that for our RV because when we go on trips we go for extended periods of time but yeah I love this and then to retract it there's two little handles under it and you just uh, put it back in the cabinet and then I have a pull-out shelf that um, I just have like uh, cookie sheets and cookie cooling racks and some muffin pans and things like that. To make the cabinet look more like a Hoosier cabinet, I added a couple of uh, little French style feet to the bottom to make it appear to have more of a furniture type finish. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of our bake center. Ken worked really hard this week. <laughs> Um, he has a long honeydew list since he's been retired. He never knew how hard he was going to have to work. <laughs> but I hope this video may um, inspire you to share your family recipes with the next generation. A recipe is a story that starts with love and ends in a good meal.